Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Hey, welcome. This video, we're going to be talking about your very first logical operator. And this is the OR operator. We often use this within an if statement. So we're going to go through an example where you have to be really cool to use this application. Your name has to be either Caleb or Caleb with a K. So let's say my name is Caleb. And we're just going to hard code that for right now. And then we'll say if name equal equal Caleb or name equal equal Caleb with a K. So you Caleb's out there with a K, you are considered special to me, at least today. And then you need to put that colon, enter, and we'll just say print unite. So we're getting together, we are making a cool group of Caleb's. <laughs> so silly. All right, and it says unite. And in this situation, your name can be Caleb or Caleb with a K. So if I go in here and change it to a K, we run this, we still get the same exact output. But if we put some stupid name in here, like pff, Claire, check this out. We run this, nothing happens. No offense to you Claire's out there. You just, your name's not Caleb, so you're not really on my level, you know? So the next thing I wanted to mention to you guys is the concept of short circuiting. If Python can know that it doesn't need to check every single option, then it will just stop and print the value. So for example, in the situation where the name is Caleb, well, it automatically will check Caleb first, and it's true, so there's no reason to check if this is the case, and it'll just print. And I can prove this happens, I'll show you how. If I said, if true, or print, hey, let's run this, see what happens. So this is a little bit interesting because we're actually invoking a function within an if statement, but this is legal, and when this is true, which by the way, true is always true, it prints unite. But if I went in here and made this false, which is always false, <laughs> ran this now, it says, hey. So that function is only invoked when false is evaluated from the first one. So it's a little bit harder to see when you're just comparing values, but the short circuiting does happen. If you have a bunch of comparisons with or operators, it will go until the first one is true and then it'll just jump into the body and print this value. Another thing I want to mention is that you can do a lot of stuff in here. You don't have to just print, you can also get input. And let's just label this as true so it runs. We can run this and you can see it prints out twice and then it's getting a user input. So as long as that indentation is there, it will execute within the if statement. Next up, we're going to learn a new operator and that is the AND operator. Stay tuned.